We wanted to simulate some of the research that's been done looking at why people associate some shapes with sounds. Uh, you know, it's not a, it sounds like a random question with silly nonsense words, but actually this has been researched since the 1920s. This very concept of taking a sound and a shape and asking people which match one to, to the other. So the two sounds were booba and Kiki. Booba and Kiki. That's right. And you right. showed them photographs. That's right. That's right. And and luckily enough for us, the, their answers actually mirrored the research itself. 90% said the round one was Booba and the pointy one was Kiki. Thank goodness. And that was true no matter where the person was from. Yeah. Because there are a lot of tourists. Oh, time. yeah, yeah. It's all tourists. It's a great spot to, to <laughs> try something out about the world there. Exactly. So we, we, we spoke to people from Finland, from Germany, from Singapore, from China, people that didn't, their first language was not English. And we didn't show them the spelling of these words, and I'm not going to tell you them. But um, so we were, I was a little, we were, the, the study, you don't want to show them the spelling because that could influence the typography right. is round or pointy. So we didn't show them the spelling, and that, that, that stands up in the research as well. And in fact, in the researchers have actually done this with toddlers, kids that don't know how to spell. And and it and the booba kiki effect holds up, and and of course uh, if, if people don't actually have those sounds in their vocabulary, you, you know they can't read them even if they're written if they have a different kind of language.